Well, I think it's safe to say we've been keeping a pretty big secret from you all. Well, the cat's out of the bag. I'm Tyler, this is Todd, and welcome to our 10-acre, fully off-grid, sustainable homestead in the middle of the woods. For the last three years, we spent every waking moment dreaming of what our forever home would look like here. So as we secretly got to work behind the scenes to build a state-of-the-art shipping container home, we quickly discovered this dream would take years to realize. Ensuring we had a comfortable place to live became priority number one, so we didn't feel as though we'd have to rush or compromise a single detail. And that sent us on an epic adventure Adventure of building a geodesic dome to live in while we tackled everything from our underground plumbing to our foundation for our container home. It's been three months since our home arrived here and needless to say, not much has went to plan, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's back up to a mid-August morning when for a moment, everything seemed to be falling into place. Come along. So the first thing that needs to happen today is the foundation needs to be perfectly level so that when the containers get lifted on top, they're all equal all along the bottom. You know how to treat your tradespeople. <laughs> treat them good <laughs> and they'll give you a good house. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, the unsung heroes of the project. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we got the welders here, and we got the crane guys over there getting set up, and it's this just a, a lot. This is a full production. Oh yeah. It's hard to see it go up. Instead of driving over your garden here, we're gonna do a dry run to see if we can get closer here. Are you okay with us picking it up and going over your panels that way? Um, I mean, you have insurance, right? Oh yeah, 100%. Yeah. How are you feeling? I'm really overwhelmed. It's um, the whole plan for where they're lifting just changed. So now we're actually gonna lift over the solar panels, which yeah. you know how I feel about my children. <laughs> <laughs> and I just don't want anything bad to happen to them, but they have good insurance, they said so. It's an emotional day, hey? Emotional, yeah. Last minute trim? Always up last minute. <laughs> Just in case. So what they're doing now is these are the trucks that brought the containers to site. So they actually have to switch them onto a flat deck truck to get them into the property just because the driveway is too tight to get the transport truck in. So it just got on. It's pretty nerve wracking, but. Oh my God. Yeah. It's almost lift time. It feels so surreal. Ooh, I can't, I can't watch him. Oh my gosh. A little nerve wracking right now. Okay, so the welders wasted no time getting to work. What they're doing now is they're fusing the containers onto the actual foundation. While they're doing that, they're loading the next container onto the transport truck to get it into here. So now that we're moving, we're gonna see a lot of progress moving quicker. Woo, which is the exciting. first one. Yeah, oh it looks God. so good. I can't believe it. You look so happy, Todd. Yeah, very happy. I feel like I'm done crying. I say that until like the next one comes. <laughs>
So we are in a major situation right now. The crane is still set up above me, as you can see, and we were just about to lift container number two into place. And the main beam that runs across the whole span of the home supports the three containers on the bottom. It weighs 3,500 pounds. And because it weighs so much on one side, the weight, it's crippling itself and falling off the truck, literally falling off the truck right now. The metal has started to bend and buckle. Just look at this. Like, this is the center of our home, keep in mind. It's just really stressful. So the plan is to bring another truck to hopefully slide it in under place. And the fourth container just arrived as well. So, and I think that they're planning on transferring the upper container onto this and then using that flat deck to scoop underneath here. But honestly, we don't really know what the plan is. It's pretty stressful. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. You're a strong piece of wood. They've snapped one of the um, wenches. The metal snapped in half. What? Yeah. So we're waiting on another truck to come and pull it onto it. But because of that, the frame is slightly bent. So the welders are looking at how they can shore it up before they lift it. Because the crane operator is now concerned that when they ta attach the four corners, it could buckle the other way. Like a U. Do a big smile. <laughs> Gross. Your yeah. face says it all. How did it, so like, it was on a bigger truck, but now it's just them yeah, putting it on the little truck. It's because the big truck can't get in here, so when it transferred, the weight's just too heavy. Wow. So the new plan is they're gonna tack weld support braces underneath to hopefully stop the container from buckling under its own weight. Once the crane can actually link into it and put the ties in the four corners, they'll be able to lift it up. Right now though, they just can't even get it in the driveway. They got it on. I'm so glad you weren't here. Oh really? It was broke. Really? Oh yeah. Like it was literally bent, like bent. Upside down, oh, sad face. I'll skip over that part of the video when it comes out. <laughs> <laughs> so Tyler's just quickly getting the excavator running. We've got a little dip here that when the truck is driving the containers into the crane lift spot, they're kind of bending a little more than people are all comfortable with. So he's just gonna grab some of this surplus gravel that we have sitting right here on the side of the driveway and fill in that hole quickly. After several hours of delay, we are back on track with container two, ready to get craned into place. They are coming down the road with it right now, which is super exciting. The welders were able to patch it up, so it's completely structurally sound, okay to lift it. So let's get back on track. <laughs> Center of the container right wow. here, 
you'll see through because the closet doesn't have doors. Gotcha. You gotta come on. Several stressful hours later and the three containers on the bottom are finally in place. And look what's happening right now. The fourth and final container, which is gonna be craned above all of these and put on top. The welders are on top of the roof right now, trying to figure out all of the seam welding that they need to do in order for that container to move in. It's unbelievable so much planning and preparation to get to this point. It feels so surreal. So what would this day be without a couple of last minute complications? It has started pouring rain and you cannot weld in the rain. So they are trying to quickly tack all of these plates which fuse all three containers along the bottom together. And then once that's done, they're gonna lift the final container in place. Um, that's the plan anyway, but it's looking like it may not get finished today. They're gonna try and just do the seam where the final fourth container will go on top all along right here, but it's slow going in the rain. Okay, so good news, the rain has let up, so we're able to continue on, but the roof has a half inch of water that is accumulated in the seam that they're trying to close up. Not so, for long. Yeah, we've got three leaf blowers, and we are going to just get all this water out of there because nothing is stopping us from getting that fourth container lifted into place today. Right, Han? We got this, we got this. We got all the water off. And Hopefully we're back up and running. Still raining a little bit, but yeah, should be fine. We're losing some light, but we've got lights set up so that no matter what, we can get that final container, which is sitting in the air, ready to go on top of this house. That's the plan. <laughs> <laughs> a 12 hour day later, and the final container is being lifted in place right now. How do you feel? Good, it's the last container I'm so excited. It's been 12 hours since the first container rolled on site this morning, so it's been a long day, but very impressive. A lot of hurdles yeah. to get to this point. Wow. Yes. <laughs> Big softy. <laughs> it's just been a lot of hurdles. It's been 19 months of design and fabrication, and it's just a lot because tomorrow we wake up and so much pressure is gone. Well, then the real journey begins. Yeah, but... We should get out of the way. <laughs> We're like crying and gonna get crushed by our house. <laughs> Drones in the air than the US Army. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
Marco, is that Marco to the outside of that? Yeah, the outside of the bottom left here.